Welcome back, everybody. We are now back in Limsa, and we're continuing, and we're talking to Vimalpa here, who is... You hear about Comrade Rainer's investigation, and you'll want to board a ferry bound for Aleport. Once you arrive in Western Lanasia, though, you best pay a visit to the Hall of the Novice before you blunder into Sasasha. The Adventurers Guild uh, runs the hall, and the folk there will prepare you, train you, with the skills you'll need to face the dangers undoubtedly waiting for you in the Seagrot. The hall is on the way to Sestasha, just north of Aleport. Head inside and one of their season adventures will take you in hand. Best of luck. Alright, I do want to really quickly turn in the stuff for the Marauders Guild, though, before we continue with MSQ. What's up, Dash? Uh, did you get lost? Why are you here? I protest this change. Whatever do you mean? Whatever do you mean? God, it is really warm. I knew you would return before long. The deafening crack of shattering boulder reached me even here. This feat of strength deserves recognition, and you shall have it in the form of a new technique. Adopted and perfected by our guild forebears, the tomahawk throw was first devised by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you will no doubt find that having a powerful ranged strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense that the impending confrontation with Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, but hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There is no swift road to attaining the peak of mastery you seek, only a steady, measured ascent. So we're going to take uh, the arms or five, seven, we'll probably take the boots with the fur. Uh, fairy is spelled wrong, type right corner. <laughs> Unfortunately, fairy is congested, so we can't make new characters on there. You're welcome to visit me, Dash. All right, so we have to hit level 20 before we continue with that. So we're going to make our way to Aleport. Should I spend 196 to just go straight there? Of course. Instead of going back down to the Fisherman's Guild? Of course. Because gotta go fast. Fly, you fools. How was the rest of work, Dash? Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the Yellow Jackets sent word. I hear you are to brave the depths of the Sestasha Sea Grot. The occupants of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty, and no matter what the epic tales you would have you believe, strolling into such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No, you shall need companions, and you shall need the training we here at the Hall of the Novice can provide. I strongly suggest that you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him and you can register for exercises tailored to your particular field of expertise. Just so everybody's aware, I will be foregoing the Hall of the Novice because uh, we're already gonna be level 20 and just with the MSQ alone, we're going to completely just not even need that at all. Also, PPS, look at how cute this B rank is. This might be the cutest B rank in the entire game. Uh, doing good. Weird fucking that's for sure. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this story. I was talking with Dash earlier. I've actually never saw that crap. Right? Super cute. Uh, I've actually only had to defeat him once, and that was when I first started out long ago and was actively doing... Um, Actively doing the hunts and the, the hunt boards and stuff. Please tell me you're here on yellow jacket duty and not some daft sod out for a stroll. I can't take any more of this blasted waiting. I assume you already know about the ship seen slipping around the Isle of Umbra. 
We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since that vessel was sighted, thinking a crew of cutthroats might have been might have a den nearby. So when we received word that men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Sustasha here, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself, but if this lot belongs to those fishback fancying serpent reavers, we can imagine the panic it will cause. The kidnappings are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, your task is to poke around in the caves, find out exactly who we're dealing with, and while you do that, I'll be keeping watch out here, praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Hi -ya. Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, Kuya. Can we get a shout out for Cyrus, please? Welcome in, Raiders. How are you doing? I am Delocato, Delocato, Delacato, Delacato, whichever you want to say it. Uh, we're going currently through MSQ uh, in its entirety. In its, it's in its entirety. Fuck, the raid didn't go through for me. Oh, it didn't? The heck? Hi, Kuya. Everybody here. Who was here before the raid? Please go follow Cyrus. That's my big bro. That's my Kuya. He has the best laugh on Twitch. He's one of my favorite people. Please go drop him a follow. Okay, let's see. High fake raid. <laughs> uh, I don't think time is back yet. I'm going to go through this legit. So we're going to queue. I'm not sure how long the queue is going to be. We can go do some stuff around in this area. Um, time to be sexy in Baldur's Gate. Send screenshots, please. Also, yes, do all the things post stream. Grab a snack, grab some water. It'll be quick. You're on Aether. Oh, OK. Let's queue for that. Join. Thank you so much for the raid and everybody coming through. Uh, if you're not familiar with Final Fantasy 14, uh, this is the critically acclaimed. I, I actually don't remember the spiel. It's been so long. I mean, I would have loved, I would have loved that rocket, but you was you were you were absolutely right. It was such a fast queue. Um, here on this channel, if you're still here, you will find a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen, and that's pretty much it. I'll do some other games here and there, but I think I've I've strayed away from being a variety streamer. We've got our um, axe toss, so that's good. I shouldn't do this to a healer. I have no idea. I've never played with them before, but here we go. Oh, they're doing amazing. Uh, do I have food on? They don't have a region at this level. They're doing fantastic. But you're right. Water waller bust. This is easy. Most of my tanks, uh, here, pull to there for first pull. Yeah, I've been doing it a lot lately too. We're gonna skip these seekers unless they aggro them. We should be okay. Damn it. Why is it every time Mal gambles, they lose everything? <laughs> Oh, did that other clam get aggroed? I didn't even see that. We're just going to skip it. Mm -mm -mm. But how's everybody doing? What's everybody up to? Baldur's Gate just came out. 
Rocket's playing uh, Palia? Palia? Still don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, just yes. Stopping the stream, visual novels. Wait, what? And confusion. Alright, oh, I don't have a third attack. I was spamming my third combo. There is no third combo. Oh, Steam Visual Novel. Why did it? I can't read. We're just going to press them all because we didn't check. Hey, we were wrong. Hey, they got the switch. Nice. Do I press that switch? Yeah, boy. First one's free. I actually do need the coffee here, so I'm just gonna greed, 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 switch, and sprint. Dun, 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 If they gave me any inclination that they want to pull further, I definitely will, but I'll take it slow. No, that's right. <laughs> also, peep the name. We went with uh, just another meaning for Meteor Survivor. With uh, asteroid vestige, okay. Is there any dialogue that I'm missing? No, it would be under event. Some pantalones. Alright, I'm not gonna do that big a pull here. This one's kind of a lot. Furry, furry, what? Ear tip? Furry ear tips is our healer. Okay. See if I can get this door open and not get hit. Okay, well the first one, can, the first one's free. Okay, the second one's free. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I should have. In hindsight, I should have just stunned him. That would have worked. There's a cutscene after this. I've I've like beaten the story. There's a ton of stuff I don't know. Hence why we're even doing this. I was just about to ask, is there a cutscene after Sustasha? I don't even know. We just barely learned why we even come to Sustasha in the first place. We're 
gonna follow the captain. Come here, you little shit. This one we're gonna be a small pool. I don't wanna come out. Plus, we've got ranged people. It's annoying to group them up. Sorry if I'm not if I, sorry if I'm not being entertaining. This is <laughs> I've ran this dungeon so many times. All right, we are gonna watch this little cutscene here. So, because I think there might be a little bit of story in here. Let's find out. I've never actually watched this cutscene before. Oh, it's not it's not much of a cutscene. Still the first time I've seen it in its entirety, so there's that. Are you not entertained? Hey, sometimes according to my Kuya Joss, you have to sacrifice the catboy to get your drop. I don't think he does anything besides a cone. Wow, he died so fast. Good grief. I've got an axe to grind, too. Ha <laughs> ha! I do that every single time. Oh my god, Joss, that was such a good stream. Joss is fucking hilarious. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> That's a lot of upgrades. Back to the drowning wench we go. Ba -da -da -da. Oof, I forgot what it I forgot what oh no 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 it was when Rocket was streaming Paleo and they were showing me their their home like their homestead and also like there's a grid system for when you want to expand your land and I was like oh my gosh this reminds me of that cookie game that Mal plays but I couldn't remember the name and then Rocket's like they're still playing that and I was like holy shit I should re-download <laughs> Am I even still in your guild? No, uh, that's totally fair. I did enjoy playing the fuck out of that game. That's such a fun game. I run a tight ship. As you should. As you fucking should. I was playing today and it crashed on me. Oh, Pallia. Yeah. Also, by the way, for everybody coming in, uh, we don't read dialogue of annoying NPCs. So Batteron, I am quiet AF. I do not read his stuff out loud. Oh, Cuckoo Run crashed on you? Man. Might you be the adventurer who accepted the job of investigating Sestasha? Yes, me. Hmm. It would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbor. None the worst for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter. The wheel will turn and our chance will come. You are right, of course, but there should be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a wink of sleep, great leader. Our aim, last you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as well earn us a place in the songs of every alehouse in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. Do you have such a goal? Large or small, it matters not. Only have a star to reach for, and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. 
Keep your eye on the prize, and all obstacles will be overcome in time. You would not think to stride into battle unclad, would you? Well, goals are as arms and armor for the spirit. I wish you fortune in your endeavors. And silence for Bataron. Alright, we got a request from the Sister Guild in Gridania. They need an adventure. They got a fishback something going on. We agree. I low-key kind of want a replica of Menfina's earring IRL. I'd rock the shit out of that. All right, we're going to go speak to Mother Miyun. And are we level 20? We're at level 21. We got to go back to the um, Marauder's Guild so we can accept the next quest there. I'm sure someone on Etsy has made it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Marauder's Guild. There is trouble afoot. Do you recall the lad whose parents were slain by the beast Kujada? The boy's grandfather, Nadard, but recently contacted us with worrisome news. Young Sighard has gone missing. There have been sightings of Kujada in the area, and it would seem that the child felt compelled to seek the creature out. As you are familiar with the boy and his tragic tale, I would have you attend to this matter. My sister Sakhra awaits you at the Bismarck. She has been apprised of the situation and will aid you in plotting a suitable course of action. Culinary, culinary guild, okay. Ooh, and an aetherite one? I've, I've seen the aetherite ring. I didn't know there was an aetherite uh, earring. Also, we don't pronounce uh, extra hard row names here. We just roll the tongue and whatever comes out, comes out. I assume you are here to discuss the missing child and not to sample a bowl of mutton stew. First things first, I would advise against rushing off peer to peer under every rock in the countryside. We need more information to direct our search. I suggest we head to the Red Rooster's stead and learn what more we can from old Nedard. Oh, this is why we go. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I was wondering why the hell we ever go there. Everything's connected. We got pretty far today. Hey, we're not done. <laughs> Listen, we ain't done yet. Everything is connected, huh? I could, I feel the tone through chat. I feel attacked. Uh. This is fine. I feel attacked too. Why do you feel attacked? What the fuck? Oh, jeez. Hey, this is a. Uh, I think this is the B. The, uh, this is the B rank for this region. Barbastel, the bat. And on your left. I love, I love hunts. I love hunt marks. Gotta 
that. We got a, a ways to travel. That's okay. Get we're getting the and we're getting the full experience here. Full sprout experience. Wonder if we'll see well we got the A rank earlier. The the S rank I usually see up north more. Oh yeah, you know what? Um Lower Lanasi and Cedarwood. Oh, we're about to get the dodos, aren't we? Yeah, cool. And then we'll finish this page. I like how everything lines up too. Like the the locals that you go to and you're hung on with that time's probably fucking made that way. Uh, we also need to re-up our food. I also need to get more food. And that dodo died really fast. Okay, we're going to oh need to kill you. Kick the, did you see me kick him in the balls? And Thal's balls. Is it just one? It should be one. That's a big boy. Four? What in the... Kick him in the balls. Ugh. All right, we got to go into this little town here. It would always throw me off that this this place didn't have um, an aetherite. No blue quest? I don't see one. <laughs> nope. Thank the gods you're here. Seems to me grandson is set on causing naught but trouble for you. But surely you know, can know the lad is feeling. Bro, what? You are another batter on. Batteron and Nedard and Severin by the way, and not because Severin didn't speak in riddles and tongues, but purely for the fact because Severin is a dick asshole pirate bitch. Sorry, that was a lot. An old acquaintance of mine, perhaps met him, often stands guard at the port gates. He might know some something he might know something of the lad's whereabouts. Cool, cool. Oh, uh, which gate is this? An L part, but we've come so far. Oh wait, wait! Oh damn it! Shit. Oh, I forgot about the the gooboos. I should have done the gooboos before I left. It's okay. We'll, we'll go back. Thank you, Rocky. Have I seen a boy wandering about by himself? As a matter of fact, me and my fellow gate guard here just watched a young lad traipsing off to the north. We were arguing whether or not to abandon our post and bring the child back ourselves. Large packs of jackals have been prowling the wilds of late, so if you mean to head after him, pray do so quickly. Hells, I might even pass along word to the Marauders Guild. You'd be better off with an extra blade or Bro, do you know who I am? Oh no, Dipafel, no. Unluckers. <coughs> Excuse me. Do, 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 do. See, we're. Oh, we'll be okay, actually. We'll be fine. Hello? Do I have to touch? Oh, it says water skin.
Alright, we got one more thing here. The satchel. Is it three total? It's just this one. Kicked in the face. I actually want to get a good look at this thing. Hang on. Oh, it's a it's a little like lizard thing. Okay, I never knew that. I just kill him and go. Never actually looked at this thing. I bet you if we get a beast uh, a beast master limited job we will definitely probably no notice like little things like that more the models for certain monsters like that's what that looks like oh there is one more spot it's the final spot you find any sign of Sigard? Uh, here's his water skin and his satchel. He must have been in a desperate hurry indeed to cast away his belongings in such a careless manner. I myself came across this wood axe, a tool the lad took from the stead, perhaps. Gods below. Over there. Shit's going down. Do we finally get to see Kujata? And is it a oh, it is not a megalocrab. It's a big boy. That's a really big boy. Is this kid about to die? Oh, shit! Oh, it wasn't that far. I thought that was going to be a lot further. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, shit. Uh, it's gone south. Ugh. This was way too funny to you? Oh, my God. Where's the big one? No big one yet? Oh, snap. get to fight big boy we don't is i'm pretty sure that was kujata right step aside Rawr! we was after the then yet we withdraw to the red rooster's stead follow my lead Is this the adjoining area? No. Go this way. 
No. I could go this way. No. All right. Let's just not be lazy. And uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I go north and just get the eighth right at Costa del Sol. So that I don't have to make this trek again. Yeah, we're doing it. We're definitely doing that. Also, not me going all the way around. We're going on a trip. That sunset, though, my God. The, sh the lighting. Beautiful. Oh, hey. So I never realized how derpy these things look. Let me check the hot log real fast. God's grip. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, before we leave, we are going to complete the because I don't know if we're going to come back to get the fireflies. They're at Hans Grip, which is, yep, down here and all the way down there. And then we've got two more of the Gubus up north. Uh, oh, those are down here. Let's grab those. Also require four. One more. Thank you. Okay, real quick. We got those. It's western, 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 western. What? There's so much in. Okay, and then one upper. We just need the two Gubus up north and the fireflies coming up, which I uh, still have a ways to go. <laughs> hey, you got the same clothes as me. It's like we're doing the same thing. That lighthouse up there is a really great spot for screenshots at night. Wait, is it this way or is it? Yeah, 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 this way. <coughs> Me, you, and Momo took a few up there once. Yeah, look at all those chickens. I'm just gonna do an AOE and should take care of everything. Probably four like the rest anyways. Yep, it sure was. And we're done. So I just need the two goo goos up north. You know, I am curious actually. 
I don't. Well, no, I think I think the chocobos. Even if you use a porter, it's definitely faster than walking. I don't know if there's a porter here. There is. Okay, let's do that. We have attuned. Yes, of course, because we teleported there. I think this is going to go to Limsa, though. Like the city state. Yeah. Uh, five gil, two minutes. Let's check it out. Uh, it's definitely faster. It's definitely fast. And I think. Yeah, we can we can dismount at any time. Cool. I think you can still get aggroed though. Well, we're too high level for this stuff, but if you were a low level, you'd still get aggroed and possibly hit. Bless the porters. It's not gonna take me too far. Because it's probably going to take me to the upper decks. Unless it takes... Unless it goes to middle Anasia so that you actually enter from the... Quote-unquote front of this city. Let's see right now. He hangs the left. I got to dismount. Hey, but we're uh, we're almost... We're about to hit 6,000 for um, Gil. Is he hanging left? Are you going left, bro? You better not. You better go to the other side. You son of a bitch. All right. Well, that was uh, that was nice while it lasted. I forgot I still have that clip of the three of us in Bosja, me tripping over how freaking stupid cute the tiny bike is on a <laughs> Lala fell. Kick him in the balls. This actually works out because we'll get the second one over here, unless somebody killed it, which is fine. We'll go somewhere else. And then our quest markers in this town. Oh, there he is. A moment. Oh, that's right. You're a Nedard of the Batteron type. Lad's passed the worst of it. He struck his head in the fall, though, and it may be some time before he opens his eyes. Thank you for coming, brother. If you hadn't scattered those jackals when you did, I've not done not turn your thanks. When I learned of the situation from Mailport, I realized the dangers were greater than I had anticipated. No single marauder could have hoped to fend off such numbers in time. Pray accept my apologies, Nedard. You turned to us for help, and yet your grandson now lies before you, broken and battered. You needn't concern yourself with our well-being. Our training prepares us for such eventualities. There is not more we can accomplish here. It is time we returned to the guild and focused on other tasks. 
actually really like the the limsa axe. I think it's a limsa axe that he has. I think so. Now we're going back to the murder skill. I'm glad the lad will live, but I fear this will not be the last time Sigurd abandons caution in his thirst for vengeance against Krujata. The wound in his heart festers and seethes, feeding his impatience at our seeming inaction. But we must not think of it, uh, think ill of the boy. Instead, let his helpless rage be as a spur to our efforts. I say again, Krujata will fall by your hand, and I will shape you into the deadly weapon you need to be. I didn't realize that so much of this quest line had to do with this one particular monster. All right, we can't do anything else for another three levels, so we're gonna go to Gredania. Thankfully, we have teleport money now. We would actually definitely be further in the MSQ, but we're also simultaneously doing Marauder's Quest. So take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take... Oh, not here to dine. Very hope that you're the adventurer Batteron sent word about. The matron be praised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Miyun, and the Carline Canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear. All right, go ahead and word vomit, lady. You better have a voice line. Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting, Miyun, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none stepped forward? And good evening to you, Bo Lord. Your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is, your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin, and I lead the men and women of the God's Quiver. Now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tantara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gilmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking about the Deepcroft, and with ever-increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which brung, sprung, I say, I say, doomsday? Yeah, of sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven, proven themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the Deepcroft with orders to flush the cultists out. The Calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Ixel at bay. The Birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear a storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelveswood, lest we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the Lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you? Mm. You have my gratitude. Once you've seen to your preparations, pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and something. Keep you safe, maybe? Oh, just keep you. Just just keep you. That's all. All right. Okay. We are going to go... While I still remember, grab some food in-game. Uh, to 
Tools, Independent Tailor, Battlecraft Supplier, Independent Jeweler, an Apothecary, Trickers of Supply, Independent Tinker, Independent Culinarian. I'll take 99 boiled eggs. straight for the aetherite and then after that head south which way is this? Yep, this way set of rocks here. Let's skip up. There's the aetherite. What's our MSQ at? Level 16 MSQ. Slowly but surely. And from here we're going to go south. Uh, my health is, my health is my health. <laughs> Does anybody see that? Just noticed. Oh, that's right. Everything's in a Lanasia. I don't have to worry about stuff here. And the dire mites won't give me issue. Nope. Uh, I have Memphina's earring on. We do. And is this above or below? This is below ground. Hey, does anybody want to come join for Tom Tara Deep Craft? Oh shit! I thought you were not supposed to get me, bro. What's going on here? I'm ten levels above you. Kicked in the face. That means the skeletons are gonna do the same. Hey, we have a reprisal now. Wait, talk to the NPCs for a fun time? Which ones? Did I just walk by? Okay. Let's have a fun time. Okay, let's talk to Isildar. Childish curiosity prompted me to commit the most elementary of blunders. Were it not for the fruit that Aline found, my adventures, my adventures may well have ended in this forbidding place. Always look before you leap. In my haste, this most fundamental rule of adventuring slipped my mind, and you believe I shall have rest here a while. I shudder to think what might have happened to Isildur had I not thought to pick the fruit I stumbled across on the way here. Sometimes he has too much vigor for his own good. Age is supposed to mellow us, but if anything, it has made him more impetuous. I understand his desire to make use of the time left to him, but one misstep, and there won't be any. Hey! Hey, that's, uh, this is the group! This is the group in the kitchen with the banner and the drowning wench! Think of our goal, sister. One day our adventures will be the stuff of song, and it will all be worth it. Gods, I hate Muslims. It's not right to disturb the dead in their slumber. So we meet again. I cannot say I'm surprised to see you here. You took the prize back in Limsa, but this time we will give you better sport, or I am no true adventurer. Ah, that was fun. But I'm curious, what is the fruit that they're talking about? On the way here? What, what be the fruit? There's another NPC. I want to go talk to him. 
Tread softly if you mean to head west beyond me shack, lad. The Tom Tar Deepcroft is hollowed ground, and the dead don't take kindly to him what forget that. Yes, yes, yes. But what were the flowers of which they plucked on the way here? Oh! Oh! Is the fla- is- hang on. Hang, we're, we're, we're taking a slight detour. Is it the Rosalettes? Is it these fucking things? Kind of looks like a flower, right? What? What? Got lightning? Thunder? And talk to him again. Real fast. Real fast. Oh, maybe he left down here and he got attacked by the giant, right? Or maybe by the skeletons. Interesting. Thank you, Mal. I've never spoken to those uh, NPCs before ever. Uh, thanks for helping us out. No doubt the Bulb Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deepcroft and purge it of the Lambs of Dullamood. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The cultists took the Lesser Moon Dullamood for their god, believing that it would deliver them from, de from the devastation. And so they were rather disappointed when Dullamood exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith, and on the contrary, it served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The Lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say, everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their lord and savior, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the Deep Croft, you may be sure that no good will come of it, for the sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large, put an end to their madness. They're outside Sestasha too, but you already passed that. Wait, are they? Is that the same? Because I know, I know Edda's group was outside Sestasha, but they have different names. Let's see how long this takes. If it takes... Okay, never mind. Good grief. Why isn't it this fast for tanks on fairy, bro? No, maybe it is. I don't know. I'd just be talking smack. Gelmora, even skipping cutscenes and like moving past the story so fast in my first playthrough, Gelmora was always super fascinating to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is the same poem. You right. You right. Alright, we won't pull too, too big. Unless, uh, who's the arc? Okay. If they want more, I'll do more. They are a battle mentor. I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm going ham. We're doing it. We also have reprisal now, so which we're gonna use now. So we also have uh, an archer. And we're gonna spend their AOVs, which is great. We're gonna go stun here. Grab this guy. Is there a chest in here? No.
think I'm missing on my second attack. Let's see. I think that's what you need direct hit for, right? Direct hit rate. So you don't be missing. Just double check, make sure none of the gear that drops I can actually use in here. Surely you don't want more than that. You probably could do it. Was that an Astro? for the next group. Grab this coffin. And I also have sprint. voting so I can't pick anything. We're gonna go semi big here. I'm gonna take the wander. I will take these two as well. And that should be it because I'm taking massive amounts of damage. Thought I used reprisal I did not. these two and then we can move on. Mm, I should do it. Got sprint again. These two like this. Magic users are not friendly to tanks, so first so I can grab this like this. 
This might be one of the faster runs I've done in the healer we trust. Go ahead and mark that bad boy. Thank you. Thank you so much. At least two. Four minutes on my feet. So there. Does this guy have a cast that I can interrupt? I thought they did. That one you can stun. Oh, snap. Oh, it comes down like that. Who summons me from the void to reside within the crude vessel? It's a mind flare. Yeah, I rolled a 99 on those earrings, bro. Let me save a reprisal for the big groups. There's a rampart now. My life. <laughs> you really said, how low can you go? y'all. Damn boots were made for slain. Alright, where's my archer? You definitely get it. And I will vote on the zoot. And before I leave the dungeons or anything, okay, I need a chess piece. Cool. I'm not sure the last time I took a break, if it's been two hours or one hour, but as soon as we're done talking to Miyun, take a quick five. I'm doing amazing. Don't be surprised if we have a 48 hour stream. Welcome back. I'm reliably informed that 
Your foray into the deep craft was a success, nor did I expect anything less. Bataron's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bo Lord Lowen asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventure. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it, is also, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. As if to illustrate the point... Oh, wait! Wait, wait, wait! No, you're right! No, Mal was right! I... Don't mind me! No, 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 no. Alien was... Uh, this, these are different people. No, 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 no. These are different people. I was gone and saw your fault. If it hadn't taken an age to heal him, he would still be alive. But I tried. You bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. You shouldn't have been so hard-pressed in the first place. We should have done more to lighten this burden. Yeah, these are definitely different. Ah, to the hells with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving, and it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing. Which, okay, but that's like... That's a little too real. Cruel though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the way, of some parting advice. Get rid of Avir's head. Bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it. But for God's sakes, stop carrying it around. Poor Edda. Edda might be my favorite NPC after Elise, I'm not gonna lie. Scenes like this have become all too common. This makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I could send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word, and I would be glad to share the details with you. I'm just waiting for it to like cool down so I can open the window. It's still 83 degrees. Hi, yeah. Okay. So you're not averse to taking a little trip. Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes to us from the Adventurers Guild in Old Da. Once you arrive, I seek out Momodi, the proprietress of the Quicksand. Think of her as the Sultanate's version of myself. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you'll pull through unscathed. Now off you go, and good luck. We are level 24. So close. Alright, we're gonna tell her to Old Da. How are you doing, my dude? Back to the adventure scheme. Welcome to the quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now. If you wouldn't mind showing your judging by your determined expression, I take it you ain't here for ale. Are you called Asteroid Vestige by any chance? We even sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way to listen to me prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? I was supposed to take a break. I'm so stupid. Okay, the petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty. Another second under that sun, and I would have been set afire. A tankard of owl, if you would be so kind. Excellent timing, Papashan. It just so happens the adventurer who will be handling your petition is here. So this strapping young lad is the much-lauded adventurer, is he? 
Marvelous, marvelous. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. I am Papashan, formerly of the Sultan Sworn. I thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. Mayhap you'd like to apprise Asteroid of his mission? Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine at Amajina and Sons Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copperbell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are of the clan known as the blah blah blah, fearsome creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Also, I will not try to... I tried before, it ain't happening again. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors and their presence has forced the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. The people of that age used the blah 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 to work their minds. By the way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind their ferocious creatures to their will. But as is off the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the blah blah blahs, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mines, lowest lowermost levels so it was that the great giant revolt was ended buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock well now that's got me thinking i seem to recall there being an article about copper bell and the mithril eye a fortnight or so ago it said that the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rising demand for building materials like as not our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants gods to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries that's a long time to nurse a grudge they must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is the task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Gods bless you. I fear you might have reservations, but I assure you, it is for the best. In case you don't know, copper bell mines are in western Thanalan. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Omijia and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Mesa, and he knows copper bell mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. Behoove you? Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break. And then we'll 